Organizations have been generating data since way back. But as time goes on, more and more data is being generated. IBM estimates that 90% of the world's data was created in the last two years alone. Just as a simple example, think of your cell phone. Whenever your cell phone's turned on, it's connected to cell towers. As you move around, it will connect to different towers and at different signal strengths. All of that connection data is collected by the phone company, and it's being logged. They can use that information to find dead spots in the coverage and know which towers are busiest and need increased capacity. They can even trace you if you make an emergency phone call but don't give your exact location. This is an enormous amount of data we have. Another example is when you visit a website like Amazon or Netflix. Everything you do there is logged. What pages you view, how long you spend there, where you're coming from. They can even capture things like what browser you're using. Again, this is a huge amount of data. Phone data and website logs are just examples. In addition, things like x-rays are creating huge amounts of data. And people are doing research to detect similarities in tumors. The increase in the amount of data we're generating opens up huge possibilities. But it comes with problems, too. We need to be able to store all this data and process it, too.